So Twin Cities Live, you know this, we are all about food, fashion, and fun. We celebrate happy. That's what yes, we do. Yes, we do. But yesterday, uh, we needed to step aside as the nation watched some really tragic moments unfold in Florida. Today, we're going to continue our mission, though, of sharing the good that life has to offer, like the story of Matt and Kay. They are the winners of TCL's Trend Wedding Contest. It is presented by the Wedding Guys, and they will tie the knot live on our show. Oh, my gosh, can you believe this? Just, Just over, over two, two weeks. weeks. Whoa, since December. Our cameras have followed the bride and groom as they prepare for their big day. But this isn't a traditional engagement. That's because you select everything for them, from the venue to the honeymoon. Yesterday, the wedding bands you get to vote on were here in the studio, and we want to make sure that you have the chance to see them up close, too. So the process started when TCL reporter Kelly Hansen met our couple at a place called Jewelry by Johan in Oakdale. So keep in mind, many of the styles that you see, we can mix and match. That is so gorgeous. The trend of customizing things for a wedding is huge right now. It's the biggest thing in weddings. We've seen it across the spectrum, but now you can actually customize your rings, which is really cool. Like, there, there isn't anything like this where you can really tell your story in something that's going to be with you way after the wedding, forever. So we have all of the traditional precious metals, and we also work with titanium and tungsten. We have the antler, the wood, meteorite, dinosaur bone. And to come here and have such a huge selection and everything is just so customizable, this is awesome. This one is actually a whiskey barrel, just for you to see. It's, we kind of mimic the whiskey barrel look of it. Traditionally, when you go into a store, you can kind of select your own look of what you enjoy the most out of certain things, but you can't change anything about them. You can't really change the width of them. You can't change the materials to be what you want it to be. And that's what makes us different. While Matt and Kay are finishing up picking out the materials for the rings, this is a sneak peek behind the scenes. This is called the bench here at Johans. This is where they make the rings so you can have it customized just for the bride and groom. For her bands, we want to change them all to yellow gold because that is what her engagement band is. So we're matching it for her wedding band and they're going to be all yellow gold with the inlays that they have chosen, which is the antler, the meteorite, and the woods. I'm just gonna keep all of these on my fingers. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I think I'd be happy with any one of them. Really like the deer antler, I really like the whiskey barrel and the meteorite, it's just so cool. I love yellow gold and I have yellow gold for my ring, so I would still like to keep that. I do like warmer tones, but Matt likes... I don't really like the yellow gold. <laughs> I like... And that's okay. I like the silver color, I like the darker woods, Yeah. so... And that's okay, because here you can customize everything, mm -hmm. and you don't have to exactly like the same thing, but at the end of the day, you're definitely going to love what you get. <laughs> Matthew from The Wedding Guys is here to present the three options that you get to vote on. Matthew, nice Matthew. to have you. Great to be back. So number one is this whiskey barrel option. So, okay, let's look at this. It's super cool. So it's a burl um, mesquite wood. Wow. And it looks like a mini whiskey barrel. Oh, my gosh. Super cool. That and that's paired with um, a crushed abalone. Um, for Kay's ring. Okay, Kay's ring looks fantastic. Yeah, it's really, Boy, really I pretty. would want that just as like any kind of ring. That's yeah. so pretty. Compare that with, yeah. I anything. like that. I think these look so cool and they're a little bit the, more of like a talking point. It is. It's something that's totally unique. Um, something that not you're not going to see on everybody yeah, else. Yeah, that's really Yeah, very cool. rarely yeah. do you ever ask anyone about their wedding bands. Right. You know? But when you see like something like this, you're going to be different. like, what is that? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Explain to me what's going on. Okay, really so cool. option number two is deer antler oak. This one might be my favorite. Oh, it is. Um, okay, here the I'm antler tip is so cool. Oh my god! And when Matt and Kay were there, they actually saw the piece of antler that their rings were oh, is that made right? out of. Okay, oh, yeah. this cool. is really neat. And Let's so many people those. are into like antlers, you know, on their walls. We had antlers at our wedding as part of the centerpieces. I love it. Just kind of like a little bit of rustic. Yeah. You could have worn involved. it too. I know. I should have had it made into a ring. What I like about Matt's ring is it also includes a band of oak as well. Oh, so you got that yes. two-tone two effect. Can you guys which see is really that? Cool. This is very cool. At first when I heard about this, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure how these are going to translate into the actual pieces yeah. of jewelry. But they're just gorgeous. They really and are. And what's great too is that the bride's ring can be yellow gold. Yep. And the groom's ring can be titanium. Oh my yes, gosh. they don't need to yeah, be. They don't have to be the same. Actually. Plus, no. it's fun to have. I mean, I wear my wedding band a lot on its own and take yeah. my engagement ring off when I'm like gardening or doing dishes or sure. something like that. Sure. And so that would be so pretty. This one would be so yeah, pretty it's on its own. On its own, yeah. Ooh, I love that one. All right, now finally, this one sounds really out there. This is pretty Literally. Cool. Meteorite. <laughs> yes, so I it's mean, actually from a meteorite. World. Yep, it came from somewhere else. What? Um, yeah, that's what these ones okay, are. Okay, look, guys. And what's really cool is. Um, 
when they actually form them into the ring, the etching, you can see the texture. Yeah, no kidding. Which oh, is really cool. That's fun. They're really interesting. Each of them and have their own unique, uh, interesting look. So when you see them, it's just it's a second glance required. Mesquite burl on the inside. Oh yeah, show that. Okay, can you guys see that inside? Oh yeah, that looks slick. Oh gosh. How about that? Fun. Isn't that awesome? And you know what's like? Put that on, Steve, because it's, it's so it's smooth. So smooth. And I think for a lot of guys too, it's like they're Ooh. not used to wearing jewelry. Right. How does it yeah, feel? It's Hello, not going to come off. <laughs> ladies. I'd like to leave this on. You know, a lot of I've been wearing my wedding ring on my right hand for a uh, swimming reason and I even had someone on Twitter the other day say give up the charade you're not even married he is married <laughs> but you need to get a ring this is that awesome. works on your that one looks great on you Maybe you should get a new one. And this one this then coordinates. It coordinates, but it's in the yellow gold instead. That's Beautifully. Great. What's really cool, though, is they're all done locally. So yeah. That's really they actually cool. manufacture and create the rings right there. The what smoothness on the inside of this ring ought not be understated. Right now, now, I'm, I'm uh, interested here, Matthew. Uh, jewelry by Johan. You had a lot of partners that you guys could have teamed up with here. What was it outside of what we're talking about here that the really stood out The customization. Like, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's not... It, you don't go into like a store. Mm -hmm. You go and you pick and create your own ring. That's funny. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what makes one of those cool. wedding yeah. planning dates that you get to go yeah. on. You know. Well, it's something the guys get really into too. Yes. Um, a lot of the pieces of the wedding, they are kind of ancillary. Unfortunately, the right. bride kind of takes over in a lot of cases. As and it this is something. <laughs> <laughs> this is really something that the guy can jump into and get a whiskey barrel, for instance, on his ring. Finger, oh, right? It's really cool. Okay, so you and Bruce are planning another big event, Matthew. You have Unveiled. to tell us all about it. Yep, every uh, soon to be bride, groom, whoever should attend this. If they've been to any other show, they have to come to Unveil yeah. because it's so different. Um, it's really about creating an experience, um, shopping through all the different pieces of the wedding. Um, but what we like to do is bring them in and showcase new ideas and trends. We're very focused on that piece. Um, what's really fun, too, we have tasting bars where they can actually come and taste not only cakes, which is usually kind of standard at a bridal show, right. um, but also the catering, which is oh, really fun. Great. There's a beauty bar where they can get makeovers oh, done, fun. which is really fun. fun. And our fashion show at Unveiled is a couture fashion show, which is really <laughs> great. So It's, it's very, it's very well fashion. done. Yeah. It's very well done. Such a time saver. Instead of going to like all these different yes. places and all over the metro. Couples are busy. One they can spot. come. It's like speed dating for your wedding. You, <laughs> you, you get a chance to preview everything and then you actually get to see the personalities of the vendors, which is That's so important because cool. you're working with them sometimes up to a year and yeah. then they're with you on your most important day too. Okay. So. Absolutely. Yeah, they are yeah. with you that day. They are yeah. a part so of So you better that like day. them. You <laughs> better. Yeah. Okay, Matthew, well, we like you, you so Matthew. Much. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to see you. What's yesterday. happening with your ring? I know. I just got my ring, Finally, by the way. During it, that segment, I got it onto my left hand. Because I said, this is ridiculous. Off of my right hand. Stop explaining this. Just put it back on your left hand. But next time I go swimming, I'm going to put it back on my right hand. i got to get it resized. I it's know, a whole thing. I know. But boy, are viewers interested. Yeah, they are. And I appreciate that. They just care about your well-being. Uh, except the one lady on Twitter who told me I was fake married. You can get 50% off of tickets to Unveiled using promo code TCL online. You'll find a link on TwinCitiesLive.com. Yeah, you will. It is time for you to vote on the wedding bands that Matt and Kay will keep. So head to our website, look for the Trend Wedding logo. You can select option one, that's Whiskey Barrel. Option two, with Deer Antler and Oak. Or option three, with Meteorite. I'm just going to say option two is my favorite. That hasn't worked yet. I know, but it might you this know? time. Okay. Meteorite is interesting. I know. It's Whiskey cool. Whiskey Barrel is cool. Yeah. They want us to keep reading. Okay. You have until 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday to pick your favorite. We will announce which rings will seal the deal <laughs> next Wednesday. Big thanks to the wedding guys for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. And hey, save the date. Matt and Kay will say I do live on our show Friday, March 2nd. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to meet a husband and wife who